Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some pleasant conditions out there this morning with abundance of upper level cirrus cloudiness. Continue to see mostly cloudy skies today as we'll have uh, cirrus clouds across the region. You see temperatures warmer in the mid 50s today. Looking at our upper level sounding from this morning, we have a freezing level at 9,400 feet. Winds out of the west, 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 southwest, excuse me. Uh, out in the low levels and becoming southwesterly as we move up in the calm around 9,000 feet, seeing those winds increase slightly up to around 10 knots. Then we see our winds more out of the northwest above 9,000 feet this morning, quickly increasing up to 56 knots from 12,000 to 25,000 feet out of the northwesterly component. Looking at our surface analysis this morning, we have an area of low pressure across the southeast. That's currently providing those areas south of. Uh, including North Carolina south and into those regions. Some rainfall this morning. We're going to see that continue to move off the east and we'll have high pressure continue to remain over our region for the next several days giving us very pleasant and dry weather across the Mid-Atlantic region throughout the remainder of the week. Looking at our current surface, uh, excuse me, our current visible satellite imagery, we see we have abundance of cloudiness across the area in a form of cirrus cloudiness continue to see that today. Looking at our radar imagery this morning, just see we have some rainfall across North and South Carolina and uh, the states south and east of those areas. We're seeing uh, that rainfall just kind of remain over that region. Not going to see that across the wild region today. Looking at the European model for our uh, long-range forecast, going to see that rainfall stay to the south of the region today as area high pressure over our area winds out across the region seeing uh, a weak backdoor cold front move through tonight that's going to provide us with more northerly flow for tomorrow morning. That should keep our uh, lows tonight above freezing across the Delmarva Peninsula. Uh, by tomorrow afternoon we'll see high pressure building in from the north. That will provide us with more of a northeasterly flow tomorrow afternoon as this area of low pressure slowly moves east across the uh, southeastern southwestern Atlantic Ocean I should say and that will provide us with just uh, some pleasant conditions uh, more sunshine tomorrow with the uh, skies clearing with this upper level cirrus cloudiness moving off the coast and then for our Wednesday and for Christmas Day we'll see uh, very nice conditions looking like a beautiful Christmas Day high pressure in control across the eastern seaboard seeing temperatures in the 50s and uh, fairly light winds so couldn't ask for better weather for Christmas Day with uh, temperatures above normal, sunny skies, and uh, really just overall great weather. And then for our Thursday, we'll see uh, high pressure building in from the north once again for Thursday afternoon. That will provide us with uh, nice conditions continuing. As I mentioned, we'll have several areas of high pressure in the area uh, for the next several days, providing us with just tranquil weather. Our next weather maker will come on uh, Friday as a backdoor cold front tries to slide through the area giving us a little bit more cloudiness across the region but any precipitation should stay north of the Mason-Dixon line on Friday and uh, providing us with just some uh, continued warm to mild conditions for December and uh, looking like that area high pressure will move off the coast for uh, later on Friday allowing for us to see uh, moderating conditions on Saturday and uh, once we move in the weekend, we'll see a uh, pretty good chance of some rainfall moving to the second half of the weekend. But models are still in disagreement of the timing of a cold front moving through. And uh, that'll, be, that'll work itself out as we get closer to the weekend. Looking at our risk chart for today, we'll have green chart across the board, high around 56 degrees today. South winds at 4 to 8 knots and variable uh, when it's not out of the south for the remainder of the day today. And then tonight we'll see more of a northerly wind, a northwesterly wind, light in general, and then seeing more of a north-northeasterly component tomorrow morning, 8 to 13 knots. We'll see a low around 34 degrees tonight. In the next 24 hours we'll see VFR conditions with that upper level cirrus cloudiness across the region. Our tides are currently normal and looking at Tuesday through Christmas Day, Tuesday will be mostly sunny and partly cloudy and slightly breezy, a high of 50. Green chart across the board Tuesday night partly cloudy with a chance of some low clouds and patchy fog. Looks like about a 25% chance of that occurring and do that we'll have a yellow for our ceilings and visibilities. A low of 32 degrees for Tuesday night and for Christmas Day we'll see partly 
to mostly cloudy skies uh, with light winds. We'll have a slight chance of that morning low clouds or patchy fog lingering past uh, 7 a.m. or 12z, and we'll have a high of 55 degrees. Looking at the next seven days, we'll have mostly cloudy conditions today, partly cloudy tomorrow, temperatures in the 50s, then uh, for your Christmas day, we'll see temperatures in the mid-50s, very nice day as I mentioned. Then Thursday and Friday, very similar conditions, we'll have those areas of high pressure in and out of the region. Friday, a bit more cloudiness, as I mentioned, that backdoor cold front moving through the region uh, for Friday morning and then back north of the region for uh, late Friday. And then Saturday, we'll see temperatures moderate into the upper 50s to lower 60s across the peninsula, 59 here at Wallops. And then Sunday, we'll see a 40% chance of some rain showers as the cold front moves through the region in the high of 60 degrees. So we'll see those temperatures about seasonable beginning of the time period. And then towards the weekend, we'll see those temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees above normal with those overnight lows remaining in the mid to upper 40s. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing. Hope everybody has a great day. Back tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m.